is the European review show with some good news this time, guys. The Scottish team is advancing to the next round. And that team is Hibernian. Welcome back to Fog Football. Last week, it was all doom and gloom. We'd been embarrassed by an Andorra inside, but Hibs, thankfully, putting Scottish football back on the map. Although, I think, personally, they should have been kicked out of Scottish football for the result last week. Yes, but thankfully, they delivered some capital punishment and won 6 1. So, fantastic. 6 1. I mean, I thought FC Inter could have maybe scored a couple of goals late on. They looked more likely to score as the, the game went on towards the end of the second half. Don't know if Hibs just took their foot off the gas or, or what happened. But you know what? Respect to FC Inter because they could have just sat back and thought, fuck it, we're out. Play like, it safe. But no, they went for it and they tried to score even though they were right. six, seven, what, seven three down an aggregate. Yep. So, no, I mean, I thought the team... Looked okay going forward. It's just defensively. I've never seen so much space in a game. Yeah, which would make you wonder why Hibs couldn't do anything about that space in the opening game in Taiwan, but yeah, or leg one even, but whatever. Let's speak about some results though from tonight. Dungarden's IF versus Lucerne. One of this got the winner of the Hibernian game, and Lucerne in the end with a 1 1 draw go through, 3 2 in aggregate. So it's going to be Hibs going to Switzerland in order to make it into the playoffs. Can they beat Lucerne? And did they get the harder of the two teams here? I would probably argue they did get the harder of the two teams, but let's be real. It's a tale of two legs, isn't it? If Hibs the night shot torn up, They've got a chance, but if Hibbs decide to turn up Mandora, no chance. Hopefully, Davy Marshall's will be injured for these two legs. I'll say that. Yeah, I mean, if Hibbs if Hibbs go away first and they bring home a two-one defeat, to Easter Road, I just wouldn't be that confident in them turning it around. I feel like tonight they were always going to turn it around. Yeah, I'm not saying they can't defeat Lucerne at home, but yeah, it's it's important that the tie doesn't get away from them. They were saying a commentary tonight that they got beat four one by Napoli in like nineteen sixty eight, I believe, and then they turned it around in the second leg, one five nil. Well, that ain't going to happen anytime soon against opposition like Napoli. But even like last week when Hibs were two 0 down, I felt like at two 0 they're still favourites to go through. Yeah, and then that team had a chance to make it three one, a two goal deficit. I fancy Hibs to still go through against FC Inter. If Hibs are trailing by two goals against Lucerne, I don't fancy them. No, to go it's through. all over. So anyway, that's that. Lucerne are through. I mean, it's good for Swiss football, I guess. I mean, we don't really care. I think Hibs have got. I don't think there's much in between those sides. I don't think it really matters. There ain't, but look at that. RFS. Hearts know them very well. 4-1. Top right. by Sabah. There you go. Just proves that RFS aren't that good, are they? Uh, let's look for the, the home nation side, though. Uh, Dundalk. Dundalk. I thought they could have came back and overturned this tie, but they didn't. They only drew 2-2, so it's unfortunate for them. Um, I thought they maybe should have done better. But uh, they didn't. You see, they got two goals, Martin and Sloggett. But, I mean, they were never really going to turn this around. I mean, they were never ahead at any point. They were just pulling goals back to equalise. Probably had to take the lead in order to go through. They jobbed out in Dundalk, didn't they, man? They did. Oreo Park, you ever been? Oreo? Oreo, I ain't Oreo? Been? Uh, no, I've never been, though. No. Never been, no. Have you been, no? No, I haven't. But let's look at Crusaders. They lost 5-4 in aggregate. It was 1-1 on the night. It went to extra time. Rosenberg took the lead again, so they took the lead in 90 minutes, and they took the lead in extra time, but Crusaders again, a go through Heatley, got the equaliser, and at this point you're thinking, wow, well, can they take it to penalties, but they could not. They went down to 10 men. They went down to 10 men, even though that's not shown in the report here, and unfortunately they ended up losing 3-2, but I tell you what, that's a very good effort for Crusaders, you can't take that away from them. 5-4 in aggregate against a Rosenberg side that has beaten Celtic a few times in the past decade. So. They were saying on commentary that this Rosenberg team ain't as good as it used to be. But no, it's definitely not. I looked in depth at the Rosenberg um, form over the last like you know decade and, and they have got progressively worse. When you look at like 14, 15, 16, 17, they had won the Norwegian League rather easily. In the last few years, they have been finishing round about 4th, 5th and 6th. This year, they're in a relegation battle. They're no longer the most dominant team in Norway, but it's still a good result for Crusaders either way. It is, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Hearts get a worse result than this. That's the thing. Hearts should be beating Rosenberg. No, I, I'm, confident. I'm, I'm confident we will. I, I, think Hearts will. I think Hearts are slight favourites against Rosenberg. Put it this way, the fact that... I'm not, no, I'm not taking anything away for Crusaders. Great result, but... 
if Crusaders over two legs, and not even just 180 minutes, because we played an extra 30 the night. So if Crusaders over 210 minutes of football can only lose it to Rosenberg by a goal, then I'd be devastated if Hearts can't put Rosenberg away. Yeah. Time castle will be crucial. Was it really, though? Because Crusaders got a draw in Norway the night. I mean, talk about Crusaders. It could have been a one-off, man. We don't know too much. Scottish teams away don't do tend to do well. That's my point. How'd Rangers doing at Liverpool? I fucking pish, 2-0. No. All right, Nindhoven, like, but... Come on, man. It's not 2-1? One. Where? At Liverpool. No, it was 2-0. No. So was it Ibrox that got hammered? No, 7-1. That's fucking embarrassing. I know, I know it's embarrassing. Don't even fucking remind me it's embarrassing. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, the game that we already spoke about, Hibs defeated Interclub Des Alsges by six goals to one. Uh, easy night for Hibs. I mean, what, see when they... The, 30 minutes in, they were already, what, 3-0 up? They made LU and looked like Messi. I feel if Inter... I don't know if, if Inter clubs Estaldes could have maybe got the half-time 0-0 or only 1-0... Would it have been a totally different game, perhaps? But as soon as Hibs got in front and got a few goals early on... I don't it, think it would have been a different game because that team can't defend. It seemed like every time they just had two defenders back, which was leading to every counter-attack. Uh-huh. And, and Hibs had a goal not rule, uh, wasn't offside and it was given offside. Well, so. I, I, would have, I would have fancied our chances if it was 0-0 after half an hour than 3-0, but whatever. Uh, Harvard-Sford West County... Actually got beat tonight. So what happened there? They've drew one each in extra time. Is that? Yeah. What actually happened there? They were winning one nil, and uh, yeah, they must have they must have forced the extra time, and that team scored an extra time. That's what's happened. Now I thought they got a draw last week. Did did they lose it late on? No, they didn't. I could have swore they got a draw. That's now, the last Welsh representative. It. Yeah, they did get they, they got the win tonight, and then Benjaminson scored apparently in the one hundredth minute. Unfortunate for Harvard West County, probably the weakest team from the home nations in this entire European competition. Doing no bad though. This season, lost to a Faroe Island side. I mean, should you really be losing to Faroe Island opposition? No, no, but Harvard from West, come on. No, no, they lost in the Cardiff City Stadium, so yeah, no, it, it sucks for them. Attendance was what? No attendance as of yet. Must have been a decent attendance though. One fuck me. No, that's, that's, right. that's the home leg. Oh, that's all right. So we don't have the attendance in yet, but. Not too sure what it would have been. It's, 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 it's a poor result. I thought they would have won. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, the fact it's in Cardiff, you'd expect a decent turnout or something. Yeah, that, uh, speaking of decent, Derry City, they were leading 2-1 after the first tie. Tonight, they got a 3-3 draw, and that was enough to get them through to the next round. They took the lead before falling behind, only to equalise, no one fall behind again, and then Duffy with a goal. Not Shane Duffy? Nope, not Shane Duffy. I don't think Shane Duffy's good enough to play for Derry City, to be honest with you. He is from London Derry. London Derry? Der- is it London Derry or Derry he's from? London Derry. Oh, London Derry. But nah, I, I wouldn't have him near any team, to be honest, but nah, Duffy then with that goal, crucial goal in the 69th minute, getting Derry City the equaliser and getting them into the next round. So thoughts on Derry City? Uh, on flash score, it, it labels them as a Northern Irish team, even though they are, but they play in the Artricity League. What's going on? Well, we could talk about that, but that, that's like an hour of debate. Uh, Let's not talk about that. That's like a centuries debate, big man. I mean, people can, yeah, people can say this was a great result for Derry. I, I think they should have been beating this team anyway. Or am I giving the Irish League too much credit here? I think Derry City... I, I don't know how good Coops is. So, I'll say, all right, you, you said fans. Fair play. Pretty good result for Ghent. 10 free in aggregate against Selena. Yep. And as for Linfield, they needed to go to Poland tonight. They needed to get a big win. There was pretty much no chance of it happening. Check out the match review. They did take the lead, though, through Mulgrew. Again, not Charlie. Nope. I believe his name's Jim. Jim, Jim Mulgrew. Rich. What a pish name. Uh, it's not great, is it? Uh, took the lead in the 16th minute. Uh, May- and then McLean got them back in front. Not Again, not James. Kenny McLean. I don't think we'll see James McLean play anytime soon for Linfield, but nah, I mean, Linfield got what they needed, exactly what they needed, an early goal, and they but it. they couldn't add, I wouldn't say they bought, was it like? Oh, yeah, they didn't bottle it, but the arse went, they could have scored two more, and they didn't, they scored one. I well, if it was that easy, they, they just got fucking through, and that's pretty much it, when that, it comes. That's, that's what they get, though, I mean, throwing the, the Polish fans at the stadium, come on. Oh, the Polish it. fans were fucking rioting. What are they? Aye. I had an informant who was there. So, 
No, <laughs> you're fucking roll. What are you in the police, brother? Uh, as police we move, so next week, 10th of August, we have Hibernian at home against Lucerne and Rosenberg at home against Hearts. Big, big games. Looking forward to these. Hopefully we get two positive results. What about Derry City getting to bowl? Thoughts on that? Team for Kakistan. This is a real chance here for Derry City to get into the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to assume a team for Kazakhstan ain't all that good. But they're probably looking at Derry City thinking that London Derry City thinking the exact same well, thing. Wasn't that long ago Kakistan smashed Scotland by three goals to nil? I mean, come on, that's different. So that's match 26. Who would they get in the next round? Would they be... So we don't know yet, but they'd be unseeded. I am going to assume they would be unseeded match 26. So you look at the next round. Hibs, Hearts and Derry City, if they all get through, will be unseeded. And what's your thoughts on your thoughts on this? It's mental. I mean, look, I mean, Aston Villa could be taking on London Derry City. Yeah. Uh, Frankfurt, we all know about them. Beat Rangers in that Europa League I final. I know about them, big man. I got Florentina, lost the uh, Europa Conference League final. Also pumped hearts twice. And also pumped hearts twice. Uh, Lille as well. Uh, the, the, this, is a, the, this is a tough man. You get you get here, like, and... Uh, I mean, it's just... What? It's Oceana are well. in there, but they're on the seat. Oh, she, I know. They got a wee buy or something? No, I'm not too sure if this takes into consideration which seed wins. Like, if a couple of unseeded sides win, would that not push Oceana into the seeded category? You would think so, but man, there's that many teams and that many seeds, so I have no idea. Look, I'll worry about this when it gets to it. For now, it's all about... Worry about it when Hearts pump. 5-0. Rosenberg, that's the team. I couldn't, I couldn't remember the team. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Anyway, guys, that's it. We'll see what happens. Uh, big night tonight. Hibs and Derry going through. Pretty much that's it, though. Everyone else is done. And the three teams left in the Europa Conference League from the home nations are Hibs, Hearts and Derry City. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Or London, Derry City, uh, based on whatever you prefer. I just couldn't give a fuck. But, right, you know what? We knew it would be the Scottish clubs left because the rest would job it. But London, Derry, they can do it. I've got, I've got faith that they can get past the cag. I tell you what, I think there's more chance of them getting through than I than the two Scottish clubs. I thought, yeah, I would say that. Which is pretty unfortunate, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I've got faith. I think all three teams will go through. There you go. There you go. Maybe Hearts will get them. I, I fucking know. We're going to be on seed at like so it's not going to happen, but uh, I would take it. Whoa. Anyway, guys, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Till then. Peace.